to another episode of Birky Glute Camp. I'm Mr. Birky, and today we'll be talking about double tonguing. For those who may not know, double tonguing is when you articulate your notes with two syllables, tukka 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 tukka, instead of just one syllable, ta 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 ta, which would be single tonguing. This lets you play tongued passages much faster, though it takes time and practice to feel comfortable double tonguing. Fortunately, I've got some rules and guidelines that will help. The first and most important rule of double tonguing is keep your air as full as possible. Because of how fast the tongue will be going, it's easy to let the tongue take over and have air become an afterthought, but you'll have much better and faster results if you aim for a 90% air, 10% face ratio. Drive the air from a low, centered point just below the belly button and let the small motions of the tongue ride on top of the airstream. Let's try this in an exercise. Blow a long stream of air from that low point, and in the middle of the long airstream, move the tongue just a little bit so that the airstream is interrupted just for the briefest moment. Don't let the air support be affected in any way by the tongue moving, and let the air continue past the articulation. Like this. Once you feel comfortable with that exercise, add a second K syllable. Like this. Have the K syllable strike the roof of the mouth further forwards than if we were talking, closer to the middle of the mouth than the back. Try this exercise for yourself, focusing on having the air be as constant as possible. Welcome back! The second rule of double tonguing is use a very light tongue. The tongue will be moving quickly, and the less we have it seize up, the easier it will be. Let's try the same exercise from before, but this time on the horn. Move the tongue as little as necessary between the syllables, and again, keep the air as low and full as possible. Like this. Excellent. Now let's talk more specifically about the syllables we're using. There are two main approaches to double-tonguing syllables, and we're going to figure out which one works best for you individually. The first approach is to think tuku tuku, and the second is to think dugga dugga. I personally like the first approach more because I feel like it's easier to keep my air blowing through the line, but everyone is different, and there are plenty of people who get great results from each. Try each one on the horn now, and see which one you like better. Great! Now that you've chosen the syllable set, let's apply it to a pattern. I want you to pick a scale. I'll be playing C major for demonstration purposes, and play a full bar of quarter, four sixteenths, quarter, four sixteenths, going up one octave at a relatively slow speed, like this. And so on. If you play too slowly, the K syllable can become very awkward feeling, so find a tempo that feels relatively comfortable. Try it out now, keeping in mind to make the air as full as possible. Well done! Now let's do that same scale, but on each pitch, just play two straight beats of sixteenths, like this. Your turn. Excellent! Over time, Take these exercises faster and faster, and come up with your own patterns. I would suggest doing two sixteenths per note, then one sixteenth per note, or maybe even scales in thirds. As my last bit of advice, 
When you reach a certain speed, it may be easier to focus just on having an articulation present at the beginning of the notes, rather than the specific tuku or daga syllables. In closing, keep your air as full as possible, move the tongue as little as necessary, and have the tongue ride on top of the airstream. If you have any questions about this or any other horn topic, bury your horn in the earth until a horn tree grows. Wait for a bird to nest in that tree, write your question down on a tiny piece of paper, tie your question to the foot of that bird, whisper my name in its ear, and toss it into the air. That bird will find me, and I will respond in kind. Or ask your band director.